G'day, my name's Corey Green. I'm one of the scientists down at Victorian Fisheries Authority. And today we're just gonna have a look at these snapper. All right, so we've got this snapper here and we're gonna find out how old they are. And the way we do that is we try to get inside the brain. Just near the brain, there's what's known as an auditory capsule where we have these things called otoliths, or they're the fish ear bones. So I'm just going to get, get the ear bones out here. Here it is here. So there's three pairs of these otoliths. This one's the largest one called the sagita. And if you can imagine a tree, when you cut a tree in half, you can see the growth rings. We can start seeing some of these growth rings in here. So we can count up the growth rings to see how old it is. You might not be able to see it there, but this fish is about, about three or four years old. And we can use all sorts of information from these ear bones. They're actually like flight recorders of an aeroplane. They're comprised of calcium carbonate and protein and different environmental elements like strontium and barium. The shape can also tell us all sorts of different things as well to look at the different stocks. And with the uh, elemental composition of them, we can see where they track. They might go into Port Phillip Bay or outside Port Phillip Bay. So they're really, really vital in finding out more about this fish and the fishery as a whole. Some of these might be over two to three years old, and some might be a whole lot older, like up to 25 for some of these larger fish. But as fishery scientists, we need such information like this. It's vital that we have a look at this year upon year to look at the population dynamics over time. That information then gets fed into our models and then fisheries managers can make a decision to keep this snapper fishery as sustainable as it can.